Um, first of all, is to recognize that under the LMC rules, each of the clubs are at least deemed to be corporate entities. Mm -hmm. So if they are corporate entities, what it simply means is that they are bodies just like natural human beings. They are mm -hmm. bodies with rights and obligations. So um, it is not an outright sale of shares of Delta Force, Delta Force yeah. FC mm -hmm. to Quara United. What they have done from the statement credited to the LMC is a transfer of slots in the MPFL mm -hmm. for consideration. Now, we are not told the quantum of money that was exchanged between exchanged. the two parties. But what is clear from the LMC rules is that in a situation where one of the MPFL clubs is unable to perform its financial obligations to the team, mm. to the league, and to the LMC, the position of the LMC rules is that such slots should be transferred to one of the four, or as case maybe eight relegated teams Six. last season. Now, that slot, slot change didn't come from the LMC. Mm. It was a battle between the two parties involved. They were basically saying, okay, I cannot play in the league. I cannot yeah. fill my financial obligations. Yeah. Can you do that? Just, Just give me some money. I'll go back. Yes. So it is a gross misconception to say that Quora United bought over Delta Force. Delta Force. And what makes it even more ludicrous is the fact that at this outgone weekend, Quora United played both in the NNL yeah. and yeah. the NPFL. Yes, and same Under the purported name change. So let us get this, and it's even a gross indictment of the capacity of the LMC mm. to administer the league. Mm. Because um, I will take you back to the incident with Kada City FC. Kada City FC, we know, was the club that was supposed to play in the NF MPFL last mm. season. They said, quote unquote, that they don't have the capacity to fulfill their financial obligations. So Delta Force basically took over their slots. Now, six months down the line, the same Delta Force yeah. cannot fulfill their own obligations. So, does it mean that the uh, safeguards, the regulatory yes. safeguards yes. provided for in the rules, which the LMC ensures compliance mm. from the clubs, was not strictly complied with? Mm. So, um, there's something they call the revocable, uh, divisible perfor financial performance guarantee yeah, yeah, yeah. to be issued by a bank at the beginning of every season on behalf of a club, mm. showing that he has the financial capacity to take care of his obligations in the league. So what was submitted to the MPFL mm. and the LMC? Well, um, lots of things to talk about. That We actually spoke to a couple of um, people, professionals, when it comes to Nigerian football, and we have uh, Kunle, Kunle Sholaja, the editor-in-chief of uh, Sports Village Square. Let's listen to him. He gave his own opinion. He, he aired his view on uh, the Nigerian Professional Football League and the change of names uh, concerning the club sites. The issue of a club selling his position to another club is one that I've, uh, one would have expected should be raised at the annual general meeting of uh, the Nigerian Football Federation, which took place yesterday. But I'm not sure that was raised because that is one of the things killing Nigerian football because it appears the league position is now for the IS bidder. For instance, Aqua Starlet selling their own Premier Division slot to Dakada is not strange because this is the second time it's even happening this season. Earlier on, we have seen Delta Force selling their position to Quara United. And you remember that that position that they are selling, they also bought it from a certain Kada City Football Club in 2015. If they are unable to run a club, then they should fold up. You remember Quara United that has even bought their, that position now, also got into the top division of Nigerian football by buying the slot of Exile Football Club of Ibadan in 1997. So this issue of buying and selling is killing our football. In other climb, what do happen is that when a, a club can change ownership, but it doesn't change its uh, league status, it does not change its location. We have seen Manchester United being bought over by the Blazer Brothers from USA. It still remain Manchester United and they are still based in Manchester City. We have seen Abramovich buying Chelsea and he still retains as Chelsea. He didn't change his location. 
So this is better than a club based in uh, Uyo selling his position to another club based in another locality. So this is an illegality that I expect the Nigerian Football uh, Federation to address and stop it because it is not healthy for the growth and development of football in Nigeria. Well, um, uh, Kula Shalaja airing his own opinion on uh, the Nigerian Professional Football League and uh, the change of club. And he also mentioned the likes of Manchester United being owned by the Glazer Brothers. But the club didn't change to Glazer Brothers Football Club. It still remained Manchester United. And this is the thing we're talking about in uh, the Nigerian Professional Football League. But I'll let um, Doni uh, respond to Kule Shalaja. Uh, uh, yeah, basically, just as my um, you know, colleague has said, this is... Uh, this is totally against their own um, laid down rules as the mm. MPFL framework rules. Now, um, the, as, as, the, as at uh, 2015 2016, yeah. the LMC said that um, each club should divest at least 50% of their equity to private individuals, mm. especially for clubs that are owned by government or public organizations. So even if Delta Force was having any financial issues and couldn't continue in the NPFL, yeah. Delta Force. As following their own framework rules, it is a private individual mm. that is supposed to come in and um, support or help take over the running of the of Delta Force FC, mm. not Quora United coming in mm. to assist. Now, if Quora United is coming in to assist, it doesn't change the status of Quora United club. in the national Nigerian National League. Mm. So they come in, take over Delta Force, they maintain their position in the NNL, NNL. and then the slot. The Delta Force slot in the NPFL now becomes open. Mm. Now the LMC in their rules say that the the first uh, the four relegated teams they have the right of first refusal, mm. meaning the LF, uh, the LMC is supposed to offer that slot to those clubs that were first relegated. relegated which is why I don't understand why Bendy and Insurance, Remo Stars are not mm. you know are not uh, agitating yeah. about this development. So they offer it to them, and then they come up and say they are not uh, financially you know capable Chippable. to play in the NPFL. So then the, the LMC now offers that slot to another club mm. that's affiliated with the NFF. It's not for uh, Delta Force and Enquirer United to just go behind and then say, okay, I'll give you my slot. Mm. And then they now come and tender it to the LMC and the LMC accepts. Mm. The LMC is not supposed to accept. The LMC is supposed to be in charge. So basically, like my senior colleague said, they don't, they don't, they, are, they, are, they act like they don't have power mm. to run the, the, the NPFL. Mm. 